guys, my name is Alexandra, and welcome to another studio vlog. In this video, I'm probably going to be doing nothing but my free giveaway. I know my last one was freebies, but that is for when someone actually buys stickers from my upcoming store. In this case, my one year anniversary is coming up, and I wanted to do a giveaway. Now, I'm not going to go into too much details about it. The giveaway is actually going to be announced on my next collab. Um, well, officially it's going to be announced. Uh, unofficially, I'm letting you know. Um, so, I am really excited about it. I am working real hard. I didn't sleep last night. Um, yesterday, I posted my collab for the burlap challenge. Um, I spent all day working on that, um, all day Sunday working on that. Today is Monday. It's now my lunch break. I am eating breakfast foods because I am, yeah, broke. <laughs> I'm a very sad person right now. Um, but everything I make and everything I've been doing has been pouring into, um, pouring into my store opening and pouring into uh, the shop that I have. So if that means eating uh, ramen and Hot Pockets for a couple of weeks, then by golly, I'm going to do it just so that I could have a successful opening. Um, it may not be like super successful, but even if I just get a couple uh, sales, I'll be very happy. Um, I'm probably going to do it in two different waves. I'm going to do the first wave is just stickers. And then the second wave is going to be uh, custom doll dresses, I believe, um, and shirts. And then the third wave is going to be the custom doll fabrics. Um, so I'm really excited about that. The first wave is the sticker sheets. That's going to be July 1st. The second wave is probably going to be August or September. And then the third wave is going to be by December. So um, we will see about that. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to my day. I don't really have much else to say. Um, I want to show you guys what I've been working on. So today I've been working on the dress for the giveaway. Now this is going to be a sort of raffle. And uh, this is a little dress that, I'm, I'm not gonna show you it completed. I'll only show it to you in pieces. You'll have to watch the collab to see the completed portion of it. But I have this uh, beautiful little dress. Um, my dress that was in the collab had these pink gummy buttons. I call them gummy buttons because they look like little gumdrops or jelly bellies or something like that. But I didn't have more more than uh, what I could do for one shirt, one dress. So I had to pick other colors. So I picked this golden color which kind of brings out some of the golds and the oranges in here. And then I picked purple to bring out those small purple flowers. So I have enough for three dresses because this requires three different outfits or six different outfits to each. So we have the dress, which is one outfit, and then the, what is it, the four-part outfit? Is it four-part or five-part? I can't remember, but the other outfit is four or five garments. The dress is just one big garment. So the dress is the easiest one. I'm going to try and finish that today and then uh, try to finish each garment as I go along.
Today's lunch is this beautiful ramen with my dad's homemade kimchi. It's the last of it, so I'm really sad. I'm gonna have to go bother him for some more. Yum! Um, but I have that, and I was trying to just make it. This is actually from another shoe that I had, and it's just, I mean, the shoe fits perfectly when it's leather and it's thick, but it doesn't really work very well when I try to use, um, this method here. I'm not sure why, because look, it has a lot of space in the back. Um, I'm not sure why that is, um, but I've done this before a couple of weeks ago and it failed. I don't know why I did it again, maybe just for, um, reaffirmation that, you know, it failed, but sometimes you got to try to figure things out and you have to fail many, many, many times before you succeed. So I was working with this linen. I doubled the linen because I wanted it to be thicker like leather and it didn't work out. Um, but I still have hopes that I can create shoes one day. Um, my bus of the feet came with a couple of little bubbles in the mold so there's like little pimples all over the um the plaster so i've been smoothing it out with my fingers while the plaster is still thin but you can see it's it's not a perfect cast but it's pretty good i'm considering uh making an actual mold using just expensive mold making stuff and then making a bunch of these resin casts or these plaster casts for people to make their own um, shoes with um, but I mean it's it's simple enough to do it yourself and uh, be done with it but I'm really happy with these feet um, this is my third try to actually get full feet my other one okay, I only got one foot and the other foot broke and then my first one I didn't even get a cast of feet it just the mold just um, hardened way too fast and I wasn't able I wasn't able to get it into the um, the, pl the plastic mold before um, it was just it was cured so I mean it, there was it was all just filled with bubbles so there was no way I was going to be able to cast a plaster um, bus or plaster whatever in it but third time's a charm and that is what's going on here. So I remembered I know 3D and I've been doing stuff for the doll shoes tutorial that I keep working on. And I think it's actually doing a lot better this year than it did previously when I was trying to do doll shoes. So to show you, I outlined this cute little doll foot right here. See, he's all nice and outlined, or she. And um, I added a bit of a toe box so that it has a better shoe shape because it was kind of wonky without the toe box. Then I took it into Illustrator and I made a mock-up of what the sole would look like. So look how cool that looks. Oh my god. And then I made sure that it fit, still fit my shoes for my feet for the dolls. So there's that. I'm going to add a toe box onto my um, little bus, I guess you could call them. My little uh, feet made out of um, plaster. And uh, so I'm going to do that. I have some test ones out on the 3D printer. Let's go see it. Oh yay, guess what just finished? I see you going up. Ah! Okay, time to get those off. That's an odd angle, but here we go. Here we go. It just turned off. Now I put on my gloves. Ah, I'm so excited. I need to clean up my little laboratory. The laboratory. I need a paper towels in here too, because I keep using tissues and I 
Yogi Pippa Tots. because you don't want to scratch your bill plate and I'm using an exacto blade just to knock them off. I scratched it a little bit. That's fine. I like to use harder stuff, but I haven't been able to find it. So I just get rid of the majority. should have six pairs of dolls soles to mess with now and it only took about 30 minutes for it to print because it's so thin so now that I have them all nice and wrapped they're nice and clean they're safe to handle now but I'm going to go scrub them with some soap and water just to make certain So here's my messy desk and I have all these little doll soles now ready for uh, making shoes. Can you see it? Let's try a different one. They are nice little soles for making shoes and I made these completely from scratch. I'm going to see about making them out of a plastic or like a rubber so that they're like rubber soles. But these will make really good boots and really good um, like regular shoes. I want to do slippers as my first tutorial. So I'm going to make another one that doesn't have all of this going on on the back. It's going to be kind of like slim. So it doesn't have the heel. This has a little bit of a heel. This one, The one that I'm going to make next doesn't. So I have my printer printing up more. I found out that one of the shoe soles actually stuck to the printer bed so I only have five but that's fine I want to have ten so I'm printing up a second batch and that would give me ten that I can make molds from I can make ten out of a mold and then I could 
make little shoe soles to sell to people if they want to make their own shoes. So we can have have all these little shoes. Look how cute they are. How did I? Oh yeah. This one's probably the one that belongs to the one that, yeah. There we go. We have, see one of them, one of them I only have one side because the other one went onto the printer bed. So I only have five sets. That's fine. Mistakes are made. I forgot to put the build platform back. A little platform so now I have all of this resin in here it's all cured so now I gotta pull it off yeah I hate doing that it is good yeah great is kind of awkward but I'll do I just got done uh, doing a little bit of shopping and I wanted to show you guys what I got I got this little baby plant he's a little big boy he's uh, $15 at Target he's a fake plant but I like fake babies because I don't have to worry about their care too much and also I don't have the greenest of thumb then I got this baby he's a little fern he is $10. He's so cute. I love him. They're going to go in my little collection that I have. And then I have this Ivy, which is really adorable. Then I just got some of the magic tape, the matte tape for sticker making, in case I do uh, glossy stickers. And I got this little pansexual flag for a little dollar. It's gonna go with my collection of stuff. My dog is like going through all my bags, so she loves to go through bags because she thinks that there's a toy for her somewhere in them, because I usually buy her toys. This is Lucy. Lucy loves toys. You have your bunny right here. Yeah, you got your bunny. <laughs> Such a sweetie. I got this rainbow uh, cover like a little jacket. I'm gonna put it on because it looks super comfortable. Then I got NASA PJs because I love NASA. I actually have a boyfriend right now that works for NASA. But they are really cool, NASA PJs. Isn't that neat? A little pastel. Then I got Love is Love little case. I love pencil cases. Then a rainbow little decoration. It needs batteries. I think it needs double A or triple A. Looks like triple A. No, it says double A. But it needs batteries. Let's see, I just stopped going through all the bags. I got this text storage because my um, my case is becoming a, like my um, you can see a little text storage. It, my um, drawers are becoming a little bit cluttered. I got this cute little display. It's like this wood and um, metal tiered tray. It's really cool. I thought it was adorable. It's only five dollars, so I picked it up. I might actually go back and get another one because this is actually really cool. I can find all kinds of uses for it. I got this basket. It's actually a fruit basket, but it's just a regular wicker basket. And I put my uh, fabrics that I'm working on right now in it so that I could easily get to them and they're nice and clean. Then I got Made to Move Barbies. I now have all four Barbies. I'm gonna do a box opening of them pretty soon. So I got all four made to move Barbies. They're kind of shine. There we go. <laughs> They're only 
$15 at Target and there's a 10% off coupon. So I used that. And then the Target I went to actually was next to Jerry's Artorama. So I love Jerry's. I got this canvas, which is like a burlap canvas. I thought that was real neat. Then I got three of my favorite sketchbooks because they're kind of thin, but they're like $3. So I bought three of them. Then I got some Fabio or Fabrino, Fabrino. It's a grid paper. I'm going to use it to start bullet journaling. Then I got a white pencil so I can do highlights and sketches. Then I got some more uh, X-Acto knives because I was starting to run out. I use them to cut patterns out of fabric for my fabric pieces. And then I got some masking tape. This is one fourth inch masking tape. It is great. I usually have the eight millimeter masking tape from, I don't remember where, but I, I usually use that and I saw this and it's a huge roll of it. And I use this to make my own personal patterns. So I'm really excited to have found that because I'm starting to run low. I'm down to my last tiny little row of like roll of, um, of masking tape. So finding a nice big one was really fun. And that's all that I got. I got a, I got quite a bit. Oh, I got one more thing. I got this beautiful printer. It's another Epson E2720. This is the exact same printer that I already have, but I'm gonna turn this one into a surprise. I got a nice little tutorial coming up and I had to buy myself another printer. This is like almost three, no, I think it usually is $300 on Amazon Marketplace, but Target has it for $199. But with the extra 10% off, I think I spent maybe $140, $150, um, or maybe a little bit more, no, $194, I believe is what it, what it was. $194 is what I ended up paying for with tax. So I'm really excited. I got all my goodies and <laughs> now to put it away. I got the mint one so it matches my cricket at home. I wonder how it looks. Oh, cool. It comes with like a glittery cricket. I'm not going to use that, but still. Look at that. 
that. Press the little mitt on the inside so it matches my Cricut um, Air too. So that is pretty cool. Comes with a little burlap bag. Nice. Cool, cool beans. And it also comes with this easy tray. It's just easy tray so that when it's hot, you can put it on the tray. It has a nice bit of ventilation that I like. Okay. That's the big thing. Now I'm going to see what I put in these little bags. Of course, Amazon has put everything into its separate little bag. We have heat-resistant tape. I wonder what I'm going to do next week. This is all for next week's video. I got a bit of a payday, so I splurged a bit and did what I've been wanting to do for a very long time. This is an extender cable for USB. Ooh, this is a big hint for what's happening next week. Aren't you excited? What is this? weird package. We're getting close. Guess what I'm making next week. I'm so excited. I'm just waiting for one more thing in the mail and it's going to come. It says it's going to be in the mail maybe Tuesday or Thursday. I do not know exactly when, but I am super excited. It's my last thing that I need on the little mat. I got this heat press mat. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. It says backside. Okay, I guess this is the front. Ooh, it's all glittery. Look at that mat. Isn't that fun? Ugh. It's a little bit wrinkly, which I don't like, but it's not too bad. It's not in the areas that I need. So I got this. Got this. There should be quite a few sheets, yes. Three sheets in here. And the biggest tent of all my paper. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Eee. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful little um, studio vlog. I'm going to call it This is the End. Um, I hope you enjoyed following along with me. Don't know how it's going to end up, but I hope it comes out okay, and I hope you enjoyed watching a little day in the life studio vlog with me, Creative 404 Alexandra. Um, I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye <laughs> now.